MPs are debating a vote of no confidence in Finance Minister Zdravko Maric today. The motion for his removal was submitted by the SDP and supported by a number of smaller parties. They claim that Maric is in conflict of interest given the fact that he was previously a high-ranking manager in the Agricor company. Joining the Minister in Parliament today are Prime Minister Andrei Plenković and Deputy Prime Minister and Economy Minister Martina Dalic. The vote in Minister Maric has been scheduled for tomorrow. Finance Minister Zdravko Maric has for his part rejected all of the allegations against him, clearly stating that his purview as a senior manager in Agricor did not include anything that would compromise his role as Croatia's finance minister. He has also announced that he plans to respond to personal attacks against him by some politicians in recent weeks. Two other motions were also introduced into parliamentary procedure yesterday, one for a vote of no confidence in Parliament Speaker Bojo Petrov, which was submitted by the HDZ, as well as a motion submitted by the SDP to hold a vote of no confidence in the HDZ's three Deputy Parliament Speakers. Meetings on the formation of a new parliamentary majority were held late into the evening last night. The last to leave the government building was MP Ivan Lovrinovic of the Change Croatia Party. He declined, however, to reveal if he would be part of a new HDZ-led majority in Parliament. Meanwhile, two independent MPs, Bruna Esich and Željko Glasnovic, who are part of the HDZ bench in Parliament, have opted to not back the HDZ's candidate for Parliament Speaker. Both said they would have liked to have given their support, however, they cannot back some of the likely members of that new majority, which could include the People's Party, Istrian Democratic Assembly and the Independent Democratic Serb Party. Esich also said that she was told that the HDZ was actually in favor of new parliamentary elections. Good news from the tourism sector. In the first four months of the year, overnight stays have increased by 26% when compared to the previous year. Foreign tourist arrivals are up by 25%. Most of the vacationers are from Germany, Slovenia and Austria. Domestic vacationers are also on the rise with a 15% increase in overnight stays. Leading the way are the Istrian Peninsula and the Kalanit region, followed by the Dubrovnik Neretva and Split Dalmatia counties and the city of Zagreb. Taking a quick look at sports, at the WTA tennis tournament underway in Prague, Croatia's Anna Konjuk advanced to the second round of play yesterday after breezing past Jana Čepelova of Slovakia 6-2, 6-2. She faces Marketa Vondroušova of the Czech Republic next. Meanwhile, in first round action at the ATP tournament underway in Istanbul, Croatia's Borna Čoric lost to Dusan Lajovic of Serbia 6-3, 6-7, 7-5. And finally, Croatia's handball team under coach Lino Cervar has started phase one of training for the 2018 European Championships to be hosted by Croatia. Cervar's roster includes some new names as well as some old ones. Marko Kopjar, Mirko Alilovic and former team captain Igor Vori are all making a comeback to the team. And now the forecast for tomorrow. Variable cloud cover with intermittent rain in the interior. There is a chance of some heavier downpours and thunderstorms. The coast will see predominantly sunny skies. Winds will be mild inland with a mild to moderate northwesterly and southwesterly on the Adriatic. Highs will be between 17 to 22 degrees Celsius. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for more unstable weather with intermittent rain. It will continue to be warm and it will be partly sunny on Saturday. The coast will see partly to predominantly sunny skies, however unstable weather will persist. As such, there could be some rain on Friday.